so I am back with another video. If you guys don't know who I am, hi, my name is Christina. This is Casually Christina. I have a main channel, which is Christina Randall. Over there, I talk about like true crime and I have a lot of story times from my past over there and how I was an unruly teenager and got into a lot of trouble and da 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 da. That's all on my main channel. I also have a Patreon, I have a Facebook, I have an Instagram, I have a Snapchat, and I'm on Like to Know It. All of those links are down in the description box if you want to find me on any of those platforms. So I wanted to do this video before I show you guys my house. And I know some of y'all are probably like punching the air like, Christina, just show us a house. This is so important to me. I have to do this right, you guys. Like I have to talk to you guys and show y'all whether you care to watch this or not authentically with like from my heart and from my experiences, okay? I'm not a, the type of person that's just gonna like get this like beautiful home or whatever and then just like flaunt it and, and act like this and this and this because that's, that's not actually my story in my life. So I wanna show you guys my house that I have been living in this whole time until we just built our home and moved. And there's a couple reasons why. I have a video over on my main channel. It's an older video and I kind of just go through the story of me going to prison and getting out of prison and going to a homeless shelter and from there going from the shelter the women's home faith-based shelter. They took me to get an ID card and they gave me my ID card and a bus ticket and they told me to go find a job. And this is in a town that I didn't know anybody. Never had been here before. Was seven, eight, nine, however many hours away from my old stomping grounds and every person that I pretty much knew. And this was a whole new experience. And I went from there to looking for a job, looking for a job fresh out of prison. Okay. Then I finally got a job at Wendy's. Then I got a, another job at Publix, the corporate offices, not the grocery store. And then I started going to school. I started going to college. And so I would get up in the mornings and I would go to my job at Publix and I would work there. I want to say it was like, was it seven to three? It was, and I would get there like really early at like six, something like that. I can't remember exactly, but like the hours I got out early early in, during the day. It wasn't a nine to five, but it was a full-time job. And I'd work all day there. I would go from there to school. Okay. I would go to college. And then from college, I would go from there to Wendy's and then I would work at Wendy's. And then I would get a ride home because it would be like 11 or 12 at night. I believe it was whenever I would stop working at Wendy's. So I would work a full-time job during the day. I would go to school full-time and anybody that goes to college full-time, just college full-time is a lot of work, okay? I was on some sort of like low income grant or whatever for school, going to a community college there in South Florida. And because of that, I had to go full time. I couldn't go part time. So I was going to school four days a week, which is what was considered full time, four different subjects with all that had essays, papers, homework, all that. And I worked a full time job and I worked a part time job and I would volunteer on Sundays at the church with the kids. I I ain't never been afraid to work, baby, ever, okay? And I was super busy and that's where I started. From that, you know, a couple years later, me and Jeremy got together, da, 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 da. We started off in a roommate situation with five other people. And then we went from there to another neighborhood, which would be considered definitely low income, definitely a rough neighborhood. I mean, our house got broken into twice in the broad daylight, not at nighttime. People were watching our house and would wait till we leave twice in the broad daylight because all of our money, we had Jordan in a private school. So we lived in an area where we could afford $500 a month rent was what we paid for this house. So we could have that extra money to send Jordan to a good school. So we went from there, we lived there for a few years, and then we moved to the next house that we rented. And this is actually the house, we lived here for a few years too, and this is why we, where we started working on our credit and rebuilding our credit. Me and Jeremy both had terrible credit. Mine was terrible for the stupidest thing, you guys. I ruined my credit, I think I was like 20 years old at the time, never had a credit card before a day in my life, didn't know how to apply for one or anything. There was no like internet back back then like that. But there was, you would go into different businesses and there would be these boxes where you could win a free this, win a free that, win a free car, win this, whatever. And this particular box was win a free membership to a gym. This is when like Riviera Fitness, I believe it was Riviera Fitness if I remember correctly, was like booming and like the gyms were like, wow, only the rich folks basically had gym memberships and went to the gym. And I filled out the piece of paper to win this free membership. I folded it up and I put it in the box. Well, they 
called me and they're like, guess what? You won. All you gotta do is come down and sign the paperwork. What I did not realize at that age, and if I did, I probably didn't even care because I was young and reckless anyways, was that I was actually signing, you won a free month to the gym, but you had to sign for a year. And so I signed it and I never went, not even one day. That went against my credit as a young adult. And I actually had to fight to get that off of my credit way later when me and Jeremy were trying to buy a house. That is what destroyed my credit before I ever even had a credit card. So me and Jeremy moved into our next rental house, which is was in a nicer area of town for sure. It's still middle class. I wouldn't say lower income middle class, but definitely just middle class. And this is where Jordan went to middle school and Jaden had his like first and second and third birthday. And we lived here for a while while we fixed our credit. After we got our credit fixed, we saved up money. Uh, we decided to start looking for a home. And in 2014, we found our home. The first home that we bought, that is where we've been living at this whole time, just until a couple months ago. Now I'm gonna show it to you guys. And then I wanna talk to y'all about something else afterwards. So we found this house and we have been looking and looking and the backyard was horrendous. I mean, there's a creek back behind where the fence is that we had put up that drops down about 15 feet. I mean, it's just disgusting. All woods and, you know, you can't even really walk back there, but you could slip and fall type of thing. But there wasn't even a privacy fence or anything. There was an old broken chain link fence. There was all these big trees and there was the ground did like like this. It was it was bad. The front of the house didn't look great. The inner parts of the house didn't look great, but there was so much potential there that we could see that the stuff that needed to be done to it, we could do, like we could fix the backyard. We could take our time and do that. We can paint, we can change out lighting fixtures, but the setup of the house was great. It was a split floor plan and it was perfect for what we needed at the time, which was three bedrooms and two bathrooms. And it was only $115,000, which even back then was a deal. Most houses like that were running for like 150 or you know maybe 160, but we got it at 150 because the market was really slow then. And actually that house had sat on the market, I wanna say two or three years, this guy was trying to sell it. It had sat on there for a while. And he actually had to bring, from what he said, $25,000 to closing just to get out from underneath this house. And we got the house, we loved it. We did a lot of upgrades to it, but I wanna show you guys first, now that I can, because I don't live there anymore. We will start off with the front of the house. So this is, the front of the house or was the front of the house. I remember finding this on Zillow and from this, this is the picture that was on there. I was like, it doesn't look like anything, but it's $115,000. So let's just go look at it. And so we went and again, the outside of it's kind of like, eh. So you go inside and the floor plan, I loved the floor plan. So what you guys are looking at right now is the living room area. And it's actually a pretty decent size living room area. And it had those little ledges up top there. This is the dining room, which is right across from the living room area. This is one of the bedrooms. This is the room that actually ended up being Jordan's bedroom. This is the second bathroom, and it actually still looks like that. The floor is still those green tile. The countertop in that bathroom is still that green top right there. And then this is the master bedroom. This was me and Jeremy's bedroom. This is the master bath in the master bedroom, and I love that bathtub. It may not look like all that, but that was like a garden tub to me. I love that bath. I spent many, many nights soaking in that bath. It's in plenty of my YouTube videos, me washing out my hair, my locks, all that stuff. That's the bath right there. And this is the master bathroom countertops. And that's exactly how they still look to this day. The floor is a little bit different. There's those sticker tile things over those tiles. But yeah, that door right there to the left was Jeremy's closet. And then the one across from it to the right was my closet. So it had his and hers closets. And man, that was just amazing to us then. It's still amazing, but like I just just still remember seeing this house and realizing that we were gonna get it. And it was just so perfect for what we needed. It was three bedrooms. The boys had a bedroom, Jordan and Jaden, on the other side of the house. And they had a bathroom in the middle to share. Me and Jeremy had our bedroom with the master, with the his and her sinks, with the garden tub, because 
I love a good soak in his and her closets where we could have our own closet space. Oh, oh my gosh. This is just another view right here, the living room. And you can kind of see into the kitchen right there where you see that floor. This is a photo of the front door and I have plenty of videos. And oh my gosh, if you've seen any of my vlogs, you guys have seen this. This is when we bought the house. So this is what was for sale. The walls were white though, maybe an alabaster, not quite white, but everything else was the same, the fixtures and everything. But this is the front door and that's what is the foyer. The kitchen, y'all. This is what the kitchen looked like minus the wall color when we bought the house. The green countertops, that green tile floor. I mean, it was like that up until just, I think it was last year when we redid the kitchen in there. And I'm gonna tell you guys what, I loved this kitchen. I hated the green. I will tell y'all, it just reminded me of the 90s of my grandma's house, the yellow flowers on the wall. You guys know what I'm talking about? But me personally, it's not what I wanted, but I loved it. I love the setup. I felt like when I moved in there, oh, I got all this counter, uh, this cabinet space. It got filled up real quick, but I love this kitchen, y'all. And this is another view of the kitchen. As you guys can see, there's the dining room. So basically the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen is all right there, except for there's a wall blocking you from the kitchen to the living room and dining room, but it's all one circle. And then the two bedrooms with one bathroom is on one side. And then the other bedroom with the bathroom is on the other side. And this is the laundry room, where which goes out into the garage, which we just loved having a laundry room like that. I actually had this picture of our first home made into like this big photo right here to hang on the wall at our new house, just so we can never forget. Like this was our first home and so many memories were made in this home and I started YouTube in this house. And for those of you guys that have been with me, you know that I started YouTube in the bedroom where I would, edit in there and then I eventually moved to the dining room when we really realized I was gonna really be serious about this and I was filming and editing and all of that in the bedroom so much that we moved the dining room table out of the dining room and made that my office. And as a matter of fact, the New York Times came in to photograph me and film me and they wrote up this big, huge article on me, which was such an honor. And when my in-laws moved in with us, cause they moved up here from South Florida, then we had seven people living in this small, which it's not small, especially compared to some people, but it definitely feels like it when you have seven people in there and, and animals and all this stuff but it's a 1600 square foot home, which was perfect for us. We had seven people in there and then I was going and filming in my bathroom on the floor and I had this sparkly thing behind me that Heather, shout out to Heather, sent me years ago and I tacked it up on the wall in the bathroom and I sat on the floor and I still filmed and I still edited. You know, it's just that house, so many memories were made in there. Now, I wanna say, first of all, I love that house. I actually looked in to see if I could have the whole house uprooted and moved to the new property. Like how much was that gonna cost? Because mind you guys, we were building in inflation. What we ended up paying and going through to build our house, our forever home that we're living in now, if we would have been able to do that five years ago, everything would have looked very different. So I did check, but I couldn't end up getting the house moved because of the roads and the way that it's in the neighborhood and it's so whatever. But I, I'm just saying that to say, I love this house this much. So again, now before I show you guys the next video, that's going to have my house tour in it. I wanted to say, first of all, no judgment to anybody online that gets money or, you know, they go and buy a lot of nice things or they immediately go get a brand new car. Or they immediately go get a brand new house or they immediately go and rent something or whatever. No judgment. Me and my family did differently. One thing I can say about me and Jeremy, and we've been together 14 years now, things have not always been perfect. Okay. We've had a lot of ups and downs and we're going to spend forever together. And I'm sure we're going to have a lot more ups and downs, right? But one thing we have tried to do together is make good financial decisions. One thing that we are typically in sync with is our priorities when it comes to our family and our kids. And we do the best that we can. And when he got a promotion at work and started making more money, and when I started making an income from social media, I did not go out and buy a brand new car. We did not immediately go, oh, we got this money coming in. Oh, let's go buy a new house. We stayed in this house. 
house. For six years, I did YouTube in this house. I did end up getting the studio, which was actually an apartment that was right up the road from my house. I, I don't have that anymore. And I used that, but we didn't go and just, you know, oh, I got some money coming in. I'm gonna go and buy a brand new house or a brand new car. When our oldest son got ready to go to college, we knew he needed a reliable vehicle because he had been driving a Blazer that we bought from Jeremy's grandparents. And it was a good solid Blazer, but it was old and there was just things about it. And if he was gonna be going back and forth from Tallahassee, which was hours drive, he needed something more reliable. And I had a Toyota Camry that was reliable and very nice and had brand new seats and all this stuff. So I ended up giving him that and I went and got myself a used car which was a 2016 Lincoln. And I did a video about that on my main channel. I still have that car. That is the car that I have. It's paid off. I still to this day have not went and bought a brand new car. I'm driving a 2016 Lincoln. And as a matter of fact, if you're on my Patreon, you know this. The backup camera don't work on that mammer jammer anymore. It keeps going in and out. There's a chip issue and it's on recall and they can't get it. And it's been like out for like a year now. And I was having tire issues. And so I was carrying around for about a year till finally I had Jeremy just said, just go and get me. I got to get different tires. But like I had a bent rim. And so I had an air compressor that I had been carrying carrying around in the back seat of my car. So if you ever seen me in public or Walmart or something, you would have seen me like open my car door, get the air compressor out, stick it into the cigarette thingy, blow my tire up. I'm sitting there playing on my phone while my tire blows up and then getting in my car and leaving. And then the next time I go somewhere, I had to blow my tire up. So, and I'm still driving that car, y'all. I say all that to say that all that time I stayed in my house and we saved money and we had a goal and we had a dream and we're here now and I'm so so, so thankful and so grateful. Are there things that I would do different if I had to do it all over again? Yes, when it comes to the house, and I'll tell y'all that in another video. When it comes to the property, no. Me and Jeremy talk about this all the time when we're outside there. I could have dealt without the house. I truly could have. I had a dream home in mind. I told you guys that in another video, which was four bedrooms, three bathroom, a big pantry and an open floor plan. So when the holidays come, we can all spend time together and the holidays just passed and we did get to do all of that. But I could have lived in a trailer. I could have put a trailer, I could have put a camper out there and lived in it. I'd have been just fine. But the property to me is a must. The property is so amazing. Being able to be out there and have space and we're raising up our chickens. I'll show you guys more about that. We've been hatching them from eggs. We have had chickens before. We had chickens in the backyard of this house, the, our first house. We had us a little mini homestead there years ago. I'm just so grateful and I'm so excited. I felt like before I show y'all my house, I want y'all to have the full picture if you don't already know. I want you guys to know that this is not just some YouTuber going and building a house. Like there's been a lot. My husband has worked in his industry since he was a teenager and he spent the most majority of all of that, of working and giving everything of himself to his kids and his family and really asking for nothing. We didn't hit a lottery ticket and just win the lottery and nothing has happened. We've been blessed. We have been so blessed and being able to do this on YouTube and being able to do this with you guys on the social media platforms is truly a dream come true. And y'all being here and watching and supporting my videos has catapulted us into our dreams. So thank you so much. But I want to tell you too, that the reality of it is, is it took a lot to get to where we're at now and it's all worth it. I'm so excited and I hope that you guys will be here with the rest of my journey with me. I am going to show you guys the house next. I'm going to show you guys some of the property. I'm going to show y'all my track. Remember how I told you guys that I really wanted to have my own track so I could run in private and all that stuff? Well, I got it and so that's super duper awesome and here pretty soon my in-laws are going to be moving out there. We just finished having the part of the property that their place is going to go cleared and so so hopefully within the next few months to six months, hopefully the most, they're going to be out there too, which is going to be awesome. So we can help take care of them on here and be embarrassing, but yes, take care of them and uh, them take care of us too, because we're family. I hope that you guys like this video. I hope that you guys like seeing my house that y'all have seen so many videos of me filming in and I didn't want to show too much of it. And I didn't want to show the outside because I lived there for safety reasons and stuff, but you guys can see it now and I love that house. I'm very grateful for the almost 10 years that we were there. I am also grateful for this new chapter and I'm thankful for y'all being here. So I love you guys. I think I've chattered enough. I will see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like the video. So this will get into your algorithm because 
because I haven't been posting much here and turn on your notifications if you have them on. Leave any questions you have down below and I'll see y'all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>